zipper From the ninis to the ox all the way to Ventura Try to snatch a hoe, take her on the aventura It started off on bars, you know bubbly springs Held by the sea, demons are human beings From the ninis to the ox all the way to Ventura Try to snatch a hoe, take her on the aventura It started off on bars, you know bubbly springs Held by the sea, demons not human beings Used to daydream, but now I'm realistic. My mama got we a rest. I'm live. a meal ticket. Don't text me the kick. So we live, we live, we live. Talking about the game like I ain't know it's wicked. Sure, though, hey, well, appreciate you coming through, bro. Appreciate you coming through the capsule talk, bro. You know, we got another legend right here. You know, we always got legends at capsule talk. And uh, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe. You better hit that subscribe because you know you guys are watching without it. Make a channel. Subscribe, boy. I appreciate you guys for watching. And uh, you know who this is? It's your boy Jose Barber. And my boy right here. Yup, yeah, and I appreciate you guys again for tuning in. So we, got, we got a real special guest, and we're going to let him introduce himself. That's all I go by Sip From ABV Records. Yeah, that's the boy. Yeah, that's the boy right there, dog. Yeah, you know, and, and, and uh, we go way back right here with the boy. Yeah, yeah. All the way back to cutting hair in the backyard and shit. Yeah, for real. Most people dog. don't even know. For real. Nah, Unless for you real. were you would have to be there to know. No, nah, for real, dog. So if you know, you know. You're a real one. Yeah. That fucking camera guy's over there dying and shit. <laughs> World Storm! <laughs> hey! Nigga, Rob Storm did. Yeah, yeah, you get you get you get past it the magic hand. Yeah, well, too. Hey, for for the people that that uh, that don't already know you, my boy, let's start off with a quick little intro and and let them know uh, a little bit let, about yourself. Let them know your name and and, and where you where you where born you and, and where you're from. All right. Uh, well, I go by Sipafit, but my name is Rafa. I'm right here from you know local Oxnard, but I grew up most of my life in Port Wyneme, right there, the Bowling Springs area. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I've been rapping. I've been. Doing a bunch of stuff, you know, just a regular guy, but you know, um, my boy, the last few years, uh, I've really changed uh, the, out the outlook of my life, you know, and I just wanted to come here and share a little something different than everybody else, you know, no, for sure, for you never sure. know who might want to hear something different, you know, nah, yeah, that's dope, no, nah, yeah, it's dope. We definitely gotta uh, get deep into the conversation of, of, of that, but um, we'll get we'll get to it right now. Let's start off. Let's start off a little bit from, from, from the beginning, the beginning, beginning. Because for the people that are watching, um, if you guys don't already know Rafa, you know, my boy right here has been in the music history for, 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 uh, for a long time. He's been, been uh, then putting in work, opening up for a lot of big artists, you know what I mean, when, when all that thing was trending. Yeah, for real, my boy was opening up, catching a lot of... Uh, but yeah, you know, so 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 if you didn't know, now you know. Sip a fifth. Yeah, started making music like in eighth grade when I was still in junior high over there at EO Green. I uh, had a lot of homies, you know. They all had their little rap groups and shit, you know. The homies uh, back then it was local celebs and also my homie Shout Reels. Out local celebs. My homie Reels, he used to be a mentor to me. He make beats, you know. I had a lot of people along the way, you know. I always like to watch from the older homies and even my own you know my peers and just a uh, soak up game you know and uh yeah once i got into high school i started doing a lot of concerts and thought this is the 2008 so like yeah. 15 years ago bro um, yeah uh we i opened up for bone thugs for snoop dogg sold out uh for Paul Wall, Chameleon, yeah, uh, 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 current man. currency, uh, legends, Psycho uh, Realm. That was my favorite. All legends. Uh, yeah, yeah, I went out there at a young age, but you know, uh, eventually I kind of like got out of it, you know, and life happened, you know. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, yeah, definitely, dog. Because you know what, like it's a crazy sport, you know, and and I tell the homie that that uh, to stay motivated in it, sometimes it's hard, you know? Because yeah. it's like waves that come in and out. It's just like everything, you know what I mean? Like you you, 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 you fucking, you're in it, and then like you, you kind of like overwork yourself to where you kind of like slow down, and then... Yeah, we all have our own different journeys, you know? Everybody, uh, you know, like some people might think, oh, you're... You're an old head, but to me, I feel like I'm seasoned. Like, uh, yeah. even though I took some, some years away from making well, music, still a young buck right uh, here, dog. I came back and I feel like every time I make a track, I'm just competing with myself to be better and better. And the views might not show it, but real recognize real. When people see me, they know I'm a spitter. 
no, you know sure. and I, as long as uh people organically show love to me that makes me feel good inside you know yeah. nah for real dog. yeah because you know if, if if you're local you know you know the boy right here yeah we were all freestyling anybody that knows me you know That's i was always down to back. get in the cypher i was always down to battle yeah, a lot of people weren't, you know, and that's cool. You know, there's some people that are better at writing. They get down, you know, but I was always the one that was like, fuck it, let's bust the flow. No, yeah, that's dope, though. You know, rest in peace, my homie Kevin, but he always got a uh, cracking at lunchtime at Wainimi High School, uh, you know? Yeah. You know, we all in the and fifth block. <coughs> yeah, you know, always getting into it with all those foods. Fucking draw la, you know, yeah, everybody yeah, freestyling. Shout out to them. Shout out to the homies, Shout out to the homies, dog, the homies on the fifth. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of homies that got the freestyling back in the day. huh? Yeah, that's tight though, bro. So, so like, what, what, what? Around what year you said that was when you were doing big shows? Probably from 2009 <laughs> to like around 2013. Okay, and uh, uh, what would you say that that got you into uh, music? I watched Eight Mile. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and that was it. Cause my hey. first my first rap name was uh, originally Reality. Uh, yeah, because I, I was oh, hearing the song by Eight Mile, "Lose Yourself," and he's yeah. like, "Snap back to reality," you know. And I was like, "That's a badass name." Reality, yeah. Uh, yeah, I used to go by Reality when I was younger. You started back in like what, oh wait, then? Yeah, you. Uh, the, I know, and then you started. Uh, what, how did you, you started? Because you said you watched Eight Mile. Yeah, I watched Eight Mile, and that shit just <laughs> I don't know. It made us all feel like we could rap and shit. <laughs> you know, Damn. I was like in what uh, third grade, fourth grade. Yeah, and, uh, my homie, uh, my homie Jess, um, he told me let's download some beats, and he got like shook ones and all that shit on the yeah. CD, <coughs> and he was talking about uh, <coughs> let's get some egg, <coughs> let's get some egg crates and fucking build the booth, you know? Put it in there. Yeah. Yeah, and then also my cousin Noe, you know, he would uh fucking freestyle and his phone to to girls. I don't want to say the big word, keep it respectful. Uh, and uh, we would send the them B-word like li- these, to... these little freestyles to them. And, you know, that's just the way it got to my head, you know, from like fourth to seventh grade. Yeah, you oh, want yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah, yeah bro. Like, this, this, this is my homie right here, too. He produces a, a lot of my music right here. What's up, Retro? If you don't know him, you'll get familiar with him too. Nah, you know the boy. Nah, for sure, for sure. Retro. My boy right here has been doing a lot of work right here for the 805, putting on, helping the boys, making the sound. Yeah. Look good. So, yeah, that's just how it happened, bro. And then uh, from there, I started meeting people that had real studios, like at least in the room, you know? The, oh, old, sure. the, the older heads at the time. Yeah, it used yeah, to be reality. reality. Yeah. Sheesh. Hey, so hey, uh, still got, we, I mean, I hey, call you that still. Yeah, people, people, people still call me reality to this day. You know, people be like, "Oh, reality girls too." Girls always used to call me that, or reels or whatever random ass names they think of. But shit, that's who. Hey, let's let the let's let the boy uh, introduce himself real quick. What's going on? Uh, I'm Retro Beats. Uh, I'm a producer, I guess. That's right. <laughs> let him know, dog. Let him know. <laughs> yeah, In the yeah. Building. Nah, it's dope though. Nah, yeah, well, appreciate, appreciate you, you, my boy. And my boy, right now, few, we're, we're, he's gonna get his own episode as soon as we. Yeah, but for this, he's produced a lot of my new shit, and we'll get to that too. Nah, yeah, for sure. real, dog. So, like, so you said you 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 um you got inspired by Eight Mile. Yeah. And then, uh, then after that, after that, you say you 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 kind of got into music by. Uh, the 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 people around me, you know, started talking about hitting the studio and shit and. From there, you know, I hit a couple studios. Shout out to Droga. Uh, that's my homie's uh, older cousin at the time. He was doing shows and shit. He's the one that plugged us all up with Bone Thugs, the Ventura Theater, uh, the local shows too. You know, we would do random little show, like little venues they had out here Oxnard, yeah. Ventura, Camarillo. And yeah, we just started doing a bunch of shows. I remember that shit. That yeah, shit was we used to get it cracking. Yeah. Shout out to Multi Time, to the Whisper, Fantasy. Uh, they know. They used to always, to we used to get that shit popping, you know? Yeah, I remember For that sure, shit. Sure, yeah. The homie fucking adder too. Shout out to him. Oh, uh, yeah. Whisper, the homie Whisper, all of them, bro. Shout out the boys, huh? We gotta get them on here, the little young OGs. Shout out Whispy. But yeah, that's tight, bro. So you've been you've been doing a lot of music and, and uh, um like, and uh, how about like big artist wise? Like like, did who do who did you used to listen to back in the day that kind of inspired you? Uh, for sure, Psycho Psych- uh, Realm. Uh, you know. My favorite rappers have always been uh, Sick Jackin' from Psycho Realm, Corrupt, Tech Nine, for sure. uh, 
you know, just lyricists, you know. I like people that really spit bars in that shit. Nowadays, it's uh, Benny the Butcher, Conway the Machine. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I like to listen to that grimy-ass boom-bap shit that makes you feel yeah. like you're trapping while you're just driving to work, <laughs> like, straight up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. That, like, that. It, just, it just hits me, bro. It makes me feel like, I don't know, like, I want to go in the booth at that moment. And my homie knows right here. Yeah. I hop in, and boom, once the light bulb goes on, we just start working, dog, and shit. Like, I love it. Yeah, I do it because I love it, bro. I don't give a fuck about the fame, dog. Like, it, nah, yeah, it'd be yeah. nice, dog. It'd be nice, but to me, nah, yeah. being happy it's and a, it's a craft, and, and like succeeding, a yeah, dog. Like that shit's just a plus. No, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because you know what I mean. Uh, it's I guess like everything you gotta love it first, you know. Yeah, and like my homie right here is a little younger than me. You know, he's not. You know, I'm not, I'm not old, but you know, like if I'm around and. I'm I'm helping him, you know, and sending people to his studio, and that's helping him chase his dream, and he blows up shit. That makes me happy. Like, I don't uh, give yeah. a fuck if I don't win out of it. Like, the youngins got to eat, too, you know? And yeah, everybody's, most, it's like a fucking network, basically. Yeah, you got to help out everybody, bro. You got to tap in with the younger generation. You got to, you know, pass wisdom, hear them out. Uh, it goes both ways, you know? And uh, uh, yeah. that's why I started coming back into the game, because I didn't want to get famous and all that shit. I just loved it. And, I, and my brother Glocks uh, and my brother Droopy, Shout my the other boys. daughter from ABV, rest in peace, Kevin. Um, we just fucking peace got Kevin. back into it like around 2019. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then yeah, and sure, that's when sure. you guys started getting back heavy? That's when we met Ty. How, how'd you yeah. guys end up linking up? Oh, uh, that's a random one. So my brother Gus was telling me, uh, oh, I want to make music, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, fool, you could go to Google and put recording studios in Ventura County. And he, this is so random. And he did. And he ended up looking up the studio where you used to work at. What is it called? Yeah, uh, it was INDB. That's yeah. when I was there. It popped up. And fucking, we hit it up. And uh, Gus went. We met another guy. But then when they ended up meeting him. And then uh, they started recording a bunch of music with him. And I don't know why. We just had a lot of chemistry with him, you know? And it's just random, you know? No, and I think, you know, that's a big deal, too, when you're working with somebody or we're, like, making music, or, like, having that chemistry with, with who's producing your shit, you know what I mean? It's obviously... Because you're going to be spending a lot of hours with them, you know what I mean? So if you vibe with them, I'm pretty sure... It doesn't give you that awkward feeling when you're in the studio. Oh, you know hell what nah. I mean, I mean, they had met him before I met him. Yeah. I when I pulled up, he had heard about me, so naturally we just boom, you know, we just fucking clicked. Uh, I started to no, for sure. Yeah, and basically since then we got back into it. For sure, and fucking um, and so but a little bit before that, we'll backtrack. Like what 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 stopped uh what stopped uh what what made you take a break from music. Uh, well, you know, I'm pretty open about my uh, struggles, you know, and uh, I was dealing with alcoholism for a lot of years, addiction, you know, depression, typical things a lot of people deal with, but they don't really yeah. speak about, you know, yeah, people sure. are shy about Especially it. Especially as a man and shit, you know? Cause, yeah. Because we're all told to fucking, to like, you know what I mean, just show, just show like fucking machismo. Yeah, you know, you know, what, I mean? you know what it is, it's like everybody is raised to deal with it and not uh cry not to be sad not to make yourself look weak but i mean yeah you know i was i was hiding i was hiding in a bottle you know for a long time and yeah uh it was like uh when i started getting back into music and seeing my brothers and them you know uh chase the dream and like my brother gus you know he uh he gets happy to see me make music, you know? He That's loves good. the shit I make, and it's like, oh, yeah. I have other friends, you know? My best friend, I got my cousins, I got people that were like, damn, bro, you get down, you should make a video, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, we made the 805 uh, in video, and uh, yeah, just uh, my my music stuff, my life got put on hold in the, probably the middle of 2020, because, uh, you know, the drinking caught up to me. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and uh, I had some real serious health issues, and uh, I, I got diagnosed with a cirrhosis. Oh, fuck. So, like, yeah, my, I, my life was, you know, I was seeing the beautiful part of life. You know, I was reconnecting with some old friends. like a rock star and shit, huh? Yeah, bro, you know, a lot of drinking, a lot of, you know, you know what you do when you drink. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, it was weird, bro. I reconnected with an old friend from the past, and my buddies from, you know, from my neighborhood, they all know me. We, we all live blocks away from each other. Like, we all had this little circle, and, like, it was crazy, you know. We were making music. We were making, we made a video. We, Me and Gus uh, were like, let's make a group. 
I thought of ABV. I was drinking. I would drink. I would drink a forty, and it would say alcohol by volume. So I was like, "That's what I'm gonna call my record label." And it fucking came to life. Yeah, it's funny. That's, dope. Yeah. That's pretty dope. But then, boom! My life just took a turn out of nowhere. Everything caught up, and you know, I started getting jaundice. My eyes were yellow. I got bedridden, and you know, it was it was looking scary for a good six eight months. You know, probably from the middle of 2020 to 2021 around March. Yeah, and yeah, that's why I wanted to share my story. You no, know? yeah, no, yeah. it's good. Yeah, they gotta definitely share the story, bro. Cause you know what I mean. That's why we have a capsule platform right here. You know what I mean for everybody to share their unique stories. Cause everybody, everybody has a something. You know what I mean that they experience that either they put into their music or 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 you know what I mean. It just rolls on to 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 everything else. You know what I mean. Yeah, and just like. Uh, life just hit me all of a sudden, bro. You know, I got faced with all the problems. I was running away, and I had to get my. I had to go sober. I was gonna die. You know, they gave yeah. me. At first, they told me I got three months to live, and they oh, told me uh, I wouldn't see twenty twenty one. And you know, I I couldn't leave. I couldn't leave the room for a while. You know, and then it, the twenty twenty one came, and uh, UCLA put me on the liver transplant list, and they said as long as I stay sober, I'd I'd, I'd qualify. And uh, maybe at the end of March, they told me I was on the list, on a priority list. And I checked in in April and uh, I fell asleep. And uh, by the grace of God, I ended up waking up on Mother's Day in May. I think it was May 10th. I had gotten the, the liver transplant, uh, Cinco de Mayo. So oh, if shit. sip of fifth, fifth block, Cinco de Mayo. My yeah. birthday's in May, so that... Triple that explains fifth. the fifth, you know, like, yeah, it's really? just, it's my number, you know, when I see the fifth, you see, I get excited because that's me right there. Nah, for sure. So we got to drop this episode on the fifth. Yeah. yeah. You stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, um, it was just like, fuck, like, I was scared I was going to die, but I was like, you know what? If I make it, I'm going to use my life, my voice, my experience, everything to help the next person. And, uh, yeah, like, it's just been an uphill battle ever since, you know, and. Oh yeah, for uh, sure. Uh, fucking, I I recovered. Uh, I had to learn how to walk again. I had to learn how to talk yeah, again. Yeah, I had yeah, to learn how to eat bro. again. Yeah, I, everything, sure. everything, bro. I lost uh, like 150 pounds. Dang. I did dialysis. Everything, bro, you could think of. I went yeah. through it, but I told them I want to live, and they did it, bro. Nah, UCLA yeah, helped. For sure, bro. Uh, Man, I, 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 owe, them, I owe them everything. Yeah. I owe them everything. Nah, you know? for sure, bro. Uh, Westwood, they have a special and place. You're doing good, bro. We see, you know, you're doing better, bro. And then, you know, I mean, you and, see motivated, you know, what I mean, to that, do stuff. Hey, bro, so that's and, good. And that for a person like me, bro, like, and that, and like, I want everyone to hear this, like. To to know, to actually change your life, bro, and I'm being for real. When you hit rock bottom, bro, when you're being told you're gonna die, and you walk around here, fool, and I might not be, I don't have all the money in the world, I don't, I'm not a famous rapper, I don't have no million followers, not, nah, bro. But for just what you said right now, bro, that money can't buy that, bro. Yeah, for people yeah. to just see me and be like, damn, bro, you look good, you look nah. happy, dog. You have a job. You're not. I'm not broke no more, bro. That shit makes me push every single day to it's wake up and chase man. that, bro. And nah, it's like, real. bro, I can't even explain it in words. I wish an addict out there could get a glimpse of what I see, bro, and they would change their lives. Bro. And that's why I got into the career that I want to get into now, which is addictive disorders. And I want to do that. And yeah, that's true. Just it, be like, uh, it, it took a lot, though, you know? Nah, for you real. Know, it was, nah, yeah, you gotta, sometimes you gotta hit the bottom for to really see, you know what I mean? Yeah, and like you said, we're all different, you know? Yeah. We all got our unique stories, and that humbled me now because I surrendered my life to the hands of whatever, you know, whatever you believe in, and the hospital and the doctors, like, I just said, whatever happens is my fate. If I survive, I'm gonna make the most of it. If I don't, it was my time. No, and you know sure. I, I do struggle with that you know because i do wonder why other people didn't make it why did other people didn't get so lucky you know yeah but you know it, it's it's just been an up and down battle but for the no, most for part sure. bro when you could just like i said when you get little comments like that and you know it's genuine and people believe in you and they're rooting for you bro like nothing nah, yeah. that's it, the best feeling in the world bro for and, sure and that's been my motivation every day to just try, bro. And, like, I'm kind of hard on myself because I do a lot. Nah, that's good. That's good, though, bro. Because, yeah, like, you know what I mean? Right now, we, we were all sipping and shit. You know what I mean? And, and my boy right here, he, he, he's, 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 you know, he got water, bro. Yeah, and that's how you, you see me. You know? 
fucking candy and shit. I mean, people don't know this vodka and that shit, though, baby. Yeah, but yeah, bro, and I'm not ashamed of it, you know. No, a lot, that's a good lot of though, people, bro. a lot of, I mean, you know, they're not make fun, but you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you nah, know. but it's good though, bro, because nah, now nah, I know I do see you. You know what I mean? You obviously, you, you obviously, made that, you know, that power move. The, you made the turn around and shit, and you've been positive ever since, bro. I've been seeing you on the gram and shit. You know what I mean? Oh uh, yeah, bro. Fucking positive. Uh, and I don't shit, flex you know money, mean? but I flex happiness, bro. No, yeah, you know, because I don't remember you posting like that before you know so so yeah so, I'm my so, so definitely like it is a good thing bro you know what i mean that that uh that you're happy dog and and that's just gonna go a long way you know because it's gonna uh it's gonna just fucking how do you call it sprinkle around the people that you're with yeah, you know exactly. and, and that's just gonna go go a long way yeah and so if anybody that's listening to the boy right here story dog drop a comment and motivation. you know what i mean motivation right now you know you guys yeah my don't, testimony, don't think don't you know? think you guys you know what i mean are at the bottom because Hey, you know what I mean? It's, it's 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 really beautiful on the other side, you know. Yeah. When you swallow your pride and you own up to your mistakes and you take that help that people offer you, bro, it, it, it is it does feel good, bro. It's hard in the beginning, but once you start seeing results, bro, like you never want to go back. No, and true. you know, some of us could handle drinking, some of us could handle this and that, but you know, like I couldn't, but I didn't want to accept that. Yeah. Because I had my ego too high, you know. For sure. Yeah. But then sometimes too, like you don't even really think about it too, dark, because it's just like you don't really think that you're doing something wrong until something bad happens. You know what I mean? Yeah, every, you know like, I mean? like like everybody uh, when you're when you're balling, when you got the baddest girl, when you have the bad car, you you're not going to church to thank God. Uh, but when something bad happens, you get mad. Like why me? Then, you know. Yeah, but in then. reality, you should be grateful for whatever you do have, bro. Cause, yeah, for real. And for like, real, for real. not focus on what people post on the gram or fucking TikTok or whatever. Yeah, like, cause and that's, oh, that's, that's all for the kids, right? That's for the birds, right? Yeah, there. dog. It's yeah. all like we should all just be grateful that we got a fucking bed to sleep in, a holiday. Uh, yeah. Our family gives a fuck about us, and you know you're thriving, bro. Because look at it, like look at you, bro. You used to cut nah, hair in my backyard, bro. With nah, my, for real. With my cousin Yugs. Yeah, shout yeah to dog, shout out the boy right here. He used to, uh, you know what I mean? He used to let me go and cut, cut, cut at their backyard because I, because I was in an apartment, and I couldn't cut. You know what I yeah. mean? So the homies like, hey, come through, fucking cut up at my pad and shit, get and it cracked. And that shows tight. I and and look, at you, look at you now, dog. Nah, like, yeah. I feel like this is full circle. Like I've, nah, I've, I've never been. I've never shit, been man. here. I've shit, never bro. been here, bro. Like, I, and it's like, damn, bro. Look, look. I appreciate you. Last dog. time I, you were at a, a shop, and like, now look, you got it popping on with all the homies with your logo, and it's like, food. That makes me feel good, you know. And uh, thank you, dog. I'd rather man. see my people thriving, even from a distance, than doing bad, you know. Nah, for sure. And I think we all should be like that. We should all motivate each other to. Be happy to be positive to do good instead of uh, feeding into that bullshit people put on the internet. You know nah, the negativity, yeah, bro. Real. You it's know a, people would rather share. That's why I don't really like like if you ever see my shit. Like I never post no negative shit on my stories and like yeah, like, I'm, little, I'm not like, sne- I post, like sneak this shit. Yeah, you know yeah, what I, mean? I, I don't like doing that shit because yeah, it's just like because. For what? You know what I mean? I'd rather post a fucking positive, a positive. Yeah. Uh, hey, bro, because you never know who might need to see that. Yeah. You know, like sometimes I might look extra because I post, uh, I went to an AA meeting and it felt good and, you know, just sharing my experiences. But it's like there might be someone that needed to hear that, bro. No, yeah. That, someone that's read it. different. Yeah. yeah. Other than like sneak this in. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, you know, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. There's people. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And that too, though. Like, I don't know. There's people that get in their feelings and get mad, you know, and it's like, bro. Like fucking, there's no need for that. Yeah, bro. for real. I mean, Z, like me, I don't have issues with nobody because for the most part, I'm just out here fucking. I'm happy to be alive, dog. Nah, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's that's good, all I give a fuck nah, about. Yeah, yeah I've yeah, been seeing that's... my boy right here hitting the Dodger game every other week. I was there. Yeah, day, I, was there yeah. Yeah. I was there yesterday, bro. I'm going yeah, next week. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, hey, my boy, the seasonal uh, ticket holder. Uh, fuck the Yankees, bro. Uh, <laughs> but hey. Hey, bro. Yeah, bro. I love the Dodgers, man. Like, I, I be doing the most, and my pops be. You doing got a season fucking tickets right there with a player? Nah, I just, I just get them with time. Hey, you know the fool that, the fool that has the baseball head, Mister Baseball Head. Who's that guy? The fool that has like the, the bald guy that has that, that always puts like people's 
faces on on his head. I don't know if you've seen him at the nah, stadium. Nah, I've never seen that. That fool's like he he. I forget his name. Dog. I know the Marlin guy, the one that is always right there with the Marlin jersey. He's like at every sporting event on the cut. Oh uh, yeah, like right next to E40 at the Warriors game. This <laughs> shit, <laughs> you know, that fool be everywhere, bro. What do you mean that. he has the same jersey everywhere? Yeah, he always wears a bright orange Mar- Marlins jersey and an orange hat. He's a lawyer from like Florida. Uh, oh, he just be yeah. everywhere, dog. You just see him in the cut at the fucking basketball game. So at the if he is at the Dodger game, look out for the boy. Oh, right yeah, here, yeah, six, yeah. There's, there's a lot of people that when I go there, there, you know, and that's just crazy. I'm like, <laughs> damn, you're here too? You're getting that bobblehead? <laughs> yeah. so you're getting that bobblehead? Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's not even there for the game. Uh, it's like for the collectibles. Nah, collectibles. Yeah, yeah, nah. That's yeah. true because I have homies that are literally like on that little Yeah, I know that shit's shit. weird. Like, why the fuck just go for a bobblehead? Go to watch the game. Yeah, but fuck it. It's, it's still a tight, like, experience either or, you know what I mean? Yeah, hell yeah, I love that's going. That's dope, bro. You gotta be fucking blessed that you're even able to go. Hell yeah, see, that's my you point. I, mean? yeah, I just be like, fuck, I, I used to dream of doing this. Now I'm here doing it, driving myself there, bro. Yeah, fuck, yeah. like, tight. I was shipping on that this morning, bro. Like, we stayed out there for the night, had some fun, came back Sweet. on a good note, fucking got some a facial done, uh, you know, shout okay. out to, so to boy on point. shout out to Andrea, uh, you want to get your living. facials, you know, and then Sweet. I came right here, dog, like self-care, some light with care. a smoothie, uh, well, uh, hey, I've been listening to Larry June and Jay, hey, 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 Blackie put me on, dog, uh, and, hey. I, and I put on Blackie, oh, this <laughs> is, <laughs> Yeah, it is, fool. Yeah. So, hey, Jay, where they go? It's hard. You know, the chamber, that, that foot, yeah, yeah, that shit's hard. That foot's fucking hard. Good, though, that you've been doing much better and you feel good, dog. So, yeah, fuck. Like, like, hey, like, you were talking about, like, my bad. But, like, you were talking about concerts. And, like, yeah, we started doing concerts again, too, bro. Yeah, so I was going to ask you. I'm gonna go, I was getting back into the music. I was going to yeah. say, um, um, so, like, what projects you, were you working on right now? What, what you got going on? Uh, Well, you already restarted it? Yeah? All right, my boy. That's why I go ahead. Uh, like around uh, when I came back from the surgery, like I said, um, uh, I started making music little by little. And um, what was it, 2021? Um, I made a few jams. Uh, with my boy Ty with the homie Casey and also the homie Heidel. Ty Ty. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we fucking. Yeah, I had my I had my homie Kevin. Um, he uh, he we go way back too. Um, right there, you know, we live two streets apart from each other right there in Wainimi. And uh, he got, he was always the homie in the background of uh, freestyling with us. And he always told okay. me, take, take me to the studio. And I was like, hey, fool, I'm going to take you. And I took him one day and we started making music. And then some shows came up and, uh, you know, he was in the cut. And uh, we start. We did a uh, MB Riders mm. in September of uh, 2021. And that yeah. shit was sold out. Jeez. But uh, at that time, it was me, Droopy. And my my brother Gus had COVID, so he couldn't be there. Oh shit! So that's what, that was the start of like you know it's me kind of coming back into the scene and like starting to make music, seeing all these young heads like learning about all of them and shit. And I was like, damn, dog, there's a, there's a lot of youngins out here doing it, bro. And uh, we started. We did the MB Riders. Then we did Phoenix Flexing. And, oh, Phoenix and, Flexing. And Phoenix yeah. Flexing. Boy, it's active. And then we did Self Provoked. In Simi yeah. Valley. Okay. That was cool. Shout out to Jeffrey, the good cigar. He got us some of those shows. Okay, that's dope. And that's yeah, dope. bro, I started making um, a lot of music. I and was back on, back like you never left and shit, huh? Shit, See. a, a seasoned vet, dog, but uh, I was still doing right. it, bro, you know? <laughs> nah, but it's crazy because, like, you feel like you, 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 you're old or whatever, and, and, but nah, it's just, you just started early or some shit or whatever, you know what I mean? I think. Yeah, I started at a young age and then hopped back into it. I feel like I got yeah. I got better with age. No, that's dope though, dog. And then you know, right now it's it's the eight oh five time, dog. So right. so you know what I mean. It's our time to shine right now. Yeah, we're for sure on blast. Everybody's and then, fucking tapping You know, we got my in. boy Retro right here, fucking definitely helping out, pushing up the map, but pushing yeah, the, the, sure. the people uh, also, on the map. Yeah, we too. we got humble people like him. We got humble, like destructive films. He's a real humble yeah. guy. Always came through for the yeah. videos. Shout out. Yeah, I don't really know that many people right now, but I'm sure there's nah, more but out there. You know? Yeah, there's a definitely a lot that are you know. Um, that are contributing to the to the 805 movement, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, um, and it's dope because because you know everybody like once they talk about 805, you know what I mean? Like we all hype. Yeah, up, and it's know? not and it's not just music. Like right now, I was shouting out to a couple of people, like my cousin Shop, 
the Royalty Studios, or the, the girl that did my facial, Brilliance by Dre. It's a lot of people just getting it, dog. No, yeah, it's true. Yeah, Shout out sure. to all the entrepreneurs, bro. Here, that entrepreneurs coming out of Rockstar. Like, yeah, 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 there's, there's a lot coming of Coming out of 805. The capsule, you know? All the creatives, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's so many people out there getting it, dog, and like, I could shout out so many. Young Mello, I see him cutting up yeah, now. Yeah, hit him up for the clips. Shout out Mello, my boy. That's my primo, more like a brother right there. Yeah. And yeah. She brought that food, bro. No, they were surprised I didn't pull up all deep. They thought I was going to bring the whole fifth block, bro. Yeah, I thought I was going to bring the shooters, you know what I mean? Nah, nah, we, we don't do that no so, more. I, <laughs> uh, we just, I just brought some water and I brought him some goodies, but you know. Yeah, stay hydrated, out, my boy, out, stay hydrated. Hey, hola, hola, bien. Awesome. He just came from a hike, too. Like, <laughs> 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 I came from somewhere else, bro. <laughs> hey, I still have my phone, bro, you know. Hey, nah, that's, that's what, it, that's, you know, everyone Jeez. thinks that just because you're sober, you don't have fun, bro. I be having fun. Nah, hell yeah, fun. bro. It's because, you know what, people get it twisted, though. They think they, yeah. they, they have to get faded to have fun, but nah. Yeah, and if you do, that's cool for you, you know. But, yeah, I mean, it's what you make it, too, yeah, right? Yeah, it shouldn't be judging anybody. That's true. Yeah, <clears> but, yeah, we did some shows, um... You know, but unfortunately, um, when this year came around in uh, February, my friend Kevin passed away. You know, I that know, definitely man. took a to yeah. yeah, that, that was one of my unfortunately, really, man. Yeah, family, bro. Um, yeah, shit. yeah, and it was crazy because you guys had just shot a video. Like you had literally had just shot a music video. Yeah, like two weeks prior to that. It was two weeks. I could have it a little sooner, but yeah. yeah that, that was actually like right when. But it was still yeah. Still we filmed the first episode. Yeah, you were, that. It was yeah. like the same week. So I don't even know, bro. Honestly, yeah. bro, uh, to me, February was like a blur. Uh, yeah. The day he passed away, February 4th, I was on my way home from FanFest Dodgers. Yeah, I'm a Dodger fan. And uh, my, I dropped my friend off home, and uh, I left her house, and then fucking Kevin's sister called me, and it was just like that whole fucking month was like a blur, bro. And that definitely took a toll on me, bro. Like, you know, music-wise... Everything, bro. A lot of things changed, you know. It was so sudden, you know. He was my, oh, yeah. we're the same age, you know. And it's just like, I've never lost someone that close to me, bro, like that, you know. Like, yeah. Like, you know, my, my Ita, you know, my cousin Jose's grandma, she, that was the worst one to me. But I had never lost a role dog like that. Yeah, like, I had yeah. lost other friends, like, rest in peace, Fanta, Mario, oh, yeah. you know. Fanta, like, those were the homies, you know. And I knew them since elementary. But Kevin, like, was in my life, bro. Yeah, you know, I, I remember seeing you. I mean, always at the crib and shit with you guys. Yeah, he was always in the crib. And just like, yeah, bro, that definitely, like, it made me, like, it, it made me lose a little motivation to make music, you know? And like I said, it's hard, bro. It's hard to keep positive. It's hard to always nah, be yeah, like. it's definitely hard. Everything's all pretty on the outside, but no one knows what's going on, you know? Nah, yeah, everybody only posts the positive shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it, that's the crazy part. So, yeah, like, me and Kev and Gus and Droopy were making free Droopy, um, we were uh, like, droopy, bro. we were we were making Free a lot, of the boy. A, a lot of music. Me and Kevin were fucking. We had the whole mixtape done. My boy yeah. was a really yeah. big part of it too. You know, the Bubbling Springs video kicked it off. You know, and uh, yeah, she was done. and uh, it was uh, supposed to be called uh, nine three zero four one, the zip yeah. code for Pro Wainimi. That that was big to us because we were from the area, bro. We yeah. we you know we always felt like. We had to make some music for everybody to hear, you know, and no, for real. especially the people that grew up playing baseball there, that lived down the street, our childhood friends, you know, we, we all stay, if you know me, dog, like, I've been kicking it with the same people since I was a little kid, you know, I don't really make new friends like that, like, I'm not, I'm a friendly person, but yeah, I love to, that Drake, no, no new friends? Yeah, we, we, we with the day, uh, we strictly with the day ones, you know, but, um, you know, it just felt like we're, like me and Kev, you know, we were doing it for everybody that <coughs> was rooting for us, you know? Oh yeah, for but sure. yeah, like you know that that music just I have it, you know I have a lot of it in the vault and it's you know, unreleased. Or... Yeah, a lot of it is unreleased. I have a good amount, but you know I I just decided to I can't make no videos without him. So I thought the best idea would be to <clears throat> release it little by little and work on my own project. And it took me a few yeah. months to get my head wrapped around Unless what I want. You do like what people do, where like they they throw like like visuals of of like him spitting, but like they mute the we the, we did the do that. Track. We did that with I made a tribute video. And then it kind of looks like looks like he's like you know, in the video. Yeah, I didn't do that, but like uh, we did a tribute video. He died on Saturday. Um, by the next week on Thursday, I made a video to the last song me and him made weeks before that. Yeah, uh, oh. just like that on the in the fly and. Um, Destructive, like I said, real humble guy came through for me. Boom, like that, bro. He made it happen. Yeah, yeah. Sure, and uh, it was like 
we we took some clips from the other videos and we showed some like tributes that his family made and like we made r.i.p shirts for everybody and like it was just a big gathering of people that loved him you know in his path you know and when yeah. he where he you know and it felt you know i was real it was hard on me to do that without him but uh, the reaction that everybody felt and to see his family be happy to see so much people love him getting together to listen to his music bro like it, that meant a lot to me bro and, yeah, and to nice. this day for a lot of people hit me up and they just be like damn bro fucking kevin was getting down on this and like i don't i don't yeah, like yeah, i don't yeah. like people to give me credit for that because kevin was his own person but you know if i brought that side of him by pushing him and like having those talks nah, with yeah. him in the booth when he was being a little shy and like now I seen that video where that fool like he he was showing you love, dog. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, oh, like yeah. you know what I mean? And he was like fucking. Yeah, you should put that you. video on so people could see because that, nah, that yeah, that's I'll a be- right that's here. a beautiful video, bro. Um, nah, yeah, for they sure. Did a, they did a uh, they the did a, were like a dinner or something. They did a dinner for me be- on uh, Cinco de Mayo for the one year on my liver transplant. Oh. Okay. And he set everything up, and oh, he dope. called that's people, and he pulled the strings, and he did that for me, bro. That and when dope. everybody sat down. My home, it was a bunch of my day one homies, their babies, mamas, their kids. It was like, it was be- It was a really beautiful th- day, bro. It made me feel really special. And we called it my five day. And um, he just got up and start- and gave a, a speech for me. And the way yeah, they recorded duh. it, like, you could just see everybody's reaction, dog. And it was yeah, like. It was genuine, dog. Yeah, I didn't expect that from nobody, bro. I mean, the, the- fool, I wasn't, psh, I was a fucking crazy ass. I used to sip shit like that all day, dog, and yeah. more. But. To, like I said, shit like that made me realize, like, damn, life is precious, bro. And I need to push and push and push to help people, dog. And yeah, right now real. I'm starting from the ground up, bro. I just finished my second semester, but I eventually want to dedicate my life, especially what happened with Kevin. I want to dedicate my life to helping addicts, bro. No, yeah, And people sure. could like people could look at me like, oh, he changed. He doesn't kick you no more. But, you know, bro, I want to... It's for the positive. I want to give him my life. To help the next person. Yeah. I don't want to see another young and happen to happen to me, bro. Yeah. Because I got lucky, bro. I I'm I'm I don't know how I'm alive. Not much me. How did I get a liver transplant on time? You know. It, yeah. And I don't want to hear that somebody in my family died of that. Not just liver, kidney, you know. Um. And I. Yeah, I, but it, for sure that you know that you that, that you know you making the best out of it. That's dope. Oh hell yeah! You know hell yeah! You got to. Uh, sure. I mean, it also helped that I lost the weight too. You know, all that no. beard, dog, that it up. <laughs> yeah, huh? For sure. Oh hell yeah! But yeah, bro, just that that it, it goes hand in hand with me with the music and with the school shit and everything, bro. Because it's it's just a big journey of mine that it's just a big trying to spread spread a big ball of positivity, bro, and change and you know. Uh, and so, every they call it the pink cloud, you yeah. know. When you're like you're you, you're in cloud. euphoria of surviving, you know. Oh, it's okay. crazy the pink cloud. Okay, yeah. it's crazy. I haven't heard of that one. Yeah, you, I, uh, they told me about it in my classes, and I tripped down on it. Euphoria of surviving. Yeah, I mean, you just kind of like you're exaggerating how happy you are, but it's just like, bro, you just see life's in such a beautiful state of mind. You, you know? see it differently, huh? It's like, because I can only imagine, dog, just I'm feeling like, damn, you got a month, you know, and then it's like, I know you're out here. I'm here for over the years later. Yeah, dog. And you know, that. a lot of crazy shit has happened in the last few years, you know? Hey, can you... I'll go ahead. Bro. Yeah, you know, like a lot of things have happened that back then, I would have probably fell off, bro. I would have probably got weak. I would have probably been like, man, fuck this. I'm going to go drink a 40. I'm going to go hit up the homies. I'm going to go do yeah. this and feel bad for myself, not go to work. But now it's just like, fuck, I have to try harder, bro. Yeah, grind. Then it's get shot again. It's like yeah, every day, For sure, day, for sure. Because, yeah, you know, just to show the... That like that you actually care, dog. Yeah, cause like you know, someone someone died for me to be alive, and it's like fuck. Yeah, I got that's not something li- like light, dog. That's something major, you know. Yeah, not for bro, sure. That's heavy, bro. Yeah. So so um so now you 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 you're a little bit more more back into the music then, like just. Oh yeah, I was in the studio like last week. Like, yeah. Yeah, I just recorded and a video you, uh, last Tuesday. You said you got some shows um lined up. For the future, right, right now, now, bro. I, we're looking to. Right now, I want to. I want to work on a project by myself, mm-hmm. and uh, release the songs with my boy Kev. But I also start work, starting to work on shit with my brother too. One of, one of a part of the group is uh, in jail right now. But my brother Gus, uh, me and him, we got some stuff in the works too. But mm-hmm. I mean, it has been more me. But it took me a few months to get back 
to like fucking write shit. Like this was saw me break down. I couldn't think of shit, bro. And this was saw me too. I couldn't think of shit for like a few months, but it just kind of been coming back to me the last few weeks. And I mean, fucking, nah, yeah. it's like fucking destiny. Dog. I see you the other day, and this what nah, just told yeah. me, telling me you recorded a video, and look what happened. Nah, you know, it was yeah. like perfect timing, you know. Uh, let people know what I'm doing. Uh, I mean, that's. I hope people watch this interview and. Uh, just know that I'm a real ass fool and yeah, shit. Sure. I, I walk around everybody. Every I'm 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 welcome to talk to anybody. Chop it up. You could ask me anything, you know. And um, when you listen to my music, you're listening to my life, bro. You're not nah, listening sure. to you're putting it in. No one trying to flex. No one trying to put no one down. It's um it's stuff that I live, you know, and stuff that makes me mad. Stuff that makes me happy. Stuff that makes me sad. Fucking everything, bro. Nah, I, yeah. I put my heart in everything I write, bro. That's dope. Everything, nah, bro. No, nah, for sure. I want you people to life. hear my. Sh- I want people to hear my shit and be like, "Damn, dog!" Like I, I felt that before. Like you know, my fam. One of my family members went through some shit like that. It's good to see somebody you know making, and that's what a lot of people come at me with, and it feels good, bro. No, nah, yeah, for sure, it's definitely good that when you have a, like, a good picture to paint, you know what I mean, in the in your story, and then makes it easier for sure to people to relate to. Yeah, hell yeah. That's dope, dog. That, yeah, you got your hands full right now, fool. And then, yeah, I can see how, how it could be tough to stay positive, you know what I mean? Through all the stuff that's been going on and stuff, you know what I mean? But, but you know what I mean? The fact that you've been staying positive is good. Yeah. And, uh. Because Elijah, Elijah happened in the last few years and it fucking sucks sometimes, but you just got to stay focused, you know? Just keep it going, huh? Yeah, I know, dog. Cause shit, dog. Always, you know what I always say, dog? At least I'm alive and it could have been worse. Nah, for every real, dog. Wake, yeah. Every day you wake up, you know what I mean? Nah, just wake up, fucking be grateful you have the opportunity, dog, and it, go yeah. get it, yeah. For real. For sure. So is there anything you want to, like, leak <laughs> for the people? That- <laughs> leak? Oh, uh, well, I got that video coming soon, and I got some new shit with my brother Glocks, but... I mean, I could show something right now if you guys want. What's up to you? Up yeah, to you. You, want, you, want, you? You, have you want... You have, a, uh, you, have some, you have something on your phone? Yeah, I got some new shit that I haven't released. Yeah, you can release right here, and I'm pretty sure it depends. It might be out before, you know, after the pod, or before the pod's out, or, or, or who knows, depending on how fast you put it out. But, you know, we leak stuff here at Castle Talk. Yeah, if you want to bust it out, let's, let, let, let's let the people hear it, dog. And, you know, if you guys are already, the, if you guys made it this far, hit that subscribe, hit that like, hey, drop a comment. Just play from the phone, or like how? Yeah, you watch, I'll play from the phone, and then um, you could give it to me. I'll, I'll hold it Yeah honestly We have a lot of shit <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Whatever yeah, one you yeah. want Whatever one you I don't know I, It's cause I could play Something with the group I could play something By myself I could It's up play. to you Just a quick little You know what I mean Something we're not, We won't play like The whole three minute I mean we'll play like A little this snippet A few bars A little promotional snippet Alright You know what I mean <laughs> We'll give them a little taste <laughs> You know what I mean A little taste A little, a little razzle dazzle <laughs> You, you know, so we do right here at the capsule. Give yeah, them a little taste. Right here, we, we, you know, we leak stuff here at Capsule Talk. We appreciate everybody that leaks their <laughs> projects here. I'll show you guys. You know what I mean? The new segments. <laughs> that's a, that's what, it, it's on the works. I already got a, I got a page that, that I'm trying to get this one to take over it so we can get that. Fuck it, I'll show you guys. <laughs> It's that this was favorite rapper, fool. <laughs> that fool. Ooh, uh, that was your favorite. Bro. <laughs> Some new shit. Sip, 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 Only sip, here at Capsule Talk. ABV shit. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, uh. I'm the bike path. About to spark some gas. Better come correct your face to aftermath. I don't love these hoes. Fuck, I look like. Take you on a spit, promise you a good night. No filter. I love to speak my mind. From the side of town where shit pops like dynamite. Shame on them if they never mention who I'm rapping about. My homie Kevin just got paid his 7 Eleven. The type of life we live is like a dead end. You can ask around, we ain't pretending. Had love for the homies until he. In heaven, 
this ain't made up. My music's non-fiction. Get out the gutter, put myself in position. Real motherfucker is the best definition. Put it on the track, now it's time to listen. This life is cold, God is my witness. Got no choice but to always be vicious. This is for the ones who are about their business. Never switch up to the day we winning. This life is cold, God is my witness. Got no choice but to always be vicious. This is for the this ones who right are about their mean? business. Okay. Never switch up to the day we winning. Sometimes it's like I can't follow the boy. Like I'm about to put his Instagram right here. You guys check him out. Last time we performed, your fam was front row. Gotta hit that follow. Come on. Run to the bottle. Dodge death before. Never promised tomorrow. They wouldn't understand. We came from the bottom. Celebrated the way we overcame our problem. This life is cold. God is my witness. Got no That's choice but to always be patient. Yeah, okay, this my boy got bars, bars. <laughs> that's hard, bro. Uh, shame hey, on that's them. hard. That was good. Damn. Oh, yeah, for real. I, See? That's the shame on them intro. For real. Okay. We shot a video with Destructive the other day. Damn, and dude. Trip out, bro. He was recording our video and he's like, I, I got to do this one, bro. I got a video shoot. And I was like, Who are you shooting a video with? He's like, Well, be real. Uh, Cypress Hill, dog. We're that's just like, right. Yeah, dog. Like, motherfuckers are doing it big out here, bro. Yeah, hell uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we shot it the other day, the day after my birthday, actually. Okay, that's right. Yeah, I was like, birthday gets to happy, myself. Happy dog. late birthday. Man, it's like Gemini season, dog. You know what I mean? Most hated, dog. <laughs> that's right. Hell uh, yeah. That's right. But yo, know, that was a dope leak, though. We appreciate you, you know, dropping that leak. You know, what you guys think? Drop a comment. That was dope. Yeah, tap in. I got a bunch of shit on Apple Music, on Spotify. Just look up yeah, Sip of Fifth. Sip of Fifth. We're going to put um the the platforms right here so you guys go check them out, run it up. My boy stays updated with all that. Definitely. We but, appreciate you like coming over here and telling us your whole story. You know what I mean? When you when you say like in detail and everything in your journey, it takes a lot, you know, especially jumping back to it and getting back with the videos and hitting the booth yeah though i mean yeah. fuck it you know i mean as long Appreciate as you, you as long out. as you have the drive you gotta try you know there's so many people that have been asking me like when are you gonna do it that one ain't gonna do it so i fucking <coughs> finally got up and did it <laughs> nah for sure yeah, fuck it we'll see what happens you know but regardless it's like, I'm, just, I'm here dog and i'm trying what do you want to tell the people real quick before we out uh, what i said earlier bro it could be worse bro and at least you're alive but that mindset you will go so far bro nah for sure so yeah me you guys heard that here from your boy sip of fifth abv records you know what i mean and my boy's been freaking definitely putting on for the for the city and uh he's, he's definitely a legend bro so if you guys already don't already follow the boy follow him now subscribe to the channel and i appreciate you guys for making it this far you know what i mean and you know it's your boy jose barber and we're right here with the boy and it's your boy subscribe to the capsule yo appreciate that dog we're right here with sip of fifth and we got retro too retro you know what i mean you know the boy we out appreciate you guys the Nini to the Ox, all the way to Ventura Bought to snatch a hoe, take her on the Aventura It started off on Bard, you know bubbling springs Held by the sea, demons, not human beings From the Nini to the Ox, all the way to